cut my bangs because I need to cut them. I need to cut my bangs. Uh, 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 uh. There we go. Is that better? There's really no process to this. There's no like science rhyme or reason. I'm gonna actually wet my bangs a little bit with a brush. Get this hair out the way. Just having the, the, the hair be a little bit damp. And I will say I did an entire video kind of going through the process again, like a couple of years ago. It's pretty much the same process. So if you want to see a more in-depth one, I was also very sad in that video. So, <laughs> you know, the process is still the same. I've been cutting my own bangs for most of my life. My dad did it once when I was a kid and I hated it and so I cried and I was like never again dad So I never let him cut my bangs again and when it's not my hairdresser, it's me Obviously right now we're not going to the hairdresser If you already have bangs, this is gonna be an easier process than if you don't have bangs already If you don't have bangs already, don't watch this tutorial because it's well, it's not even a tutorial. <laughs> if you have bangs already, don't watch this because it's not gonna be helpful because really sectioning out the, p the pieces of hair is a whole different ball game. And this is for if you already have bangs but you never cut them by yourself, consider me your guide. So now that my hair is damp, nice, nice and damp, now we're just gonna go for it. This chunk, uh, this will stay, I can add this to it. So these little edge pieces, the way I cut my bangs, I kind of have it go like this a little bit. I don't have it like straight, straight across. I have the end pieces kind of like a little bit longer. So what I'm gonna do is just take a chunk. You do a little bit at a time because uh, you can always go shorter and you can always make it more what you want or you can't make your bangs longer after you've cut them too short. I also recommend you doing this before you wash your face because you're gonna have to wash all the hair off your face anyway. Do I want it any shorter? Yes, I want to go shorter. Also squint a lot or else you'll get hair in your eyes. I think, I think that's about as short as I wanna go. I think I probably went a little shorter than I needed to, but now I'm just gonna take it and Make the ends a little bit better. <laughs> also probably not a good idea to have like lip balm on because then it also just gets attached to your lip balm. Let's kind of turn the scissors vertical and I just start hacking away. I try to focus on like the layers that are underneath. I have so many bangs, I have layers in my bangs. I try to focus on them for the shorter lengths. What am I even saying? I don't even know. So now that kind of I have that initial cut, literally that took me like it's been less than six minutes since I started recording. Because my hair is up, there might be like pieces of my bangs that didn't get pulled down into this chunk um, when I pulled my hair up. So when I take my hair down, when I take a shower next, I'll probably just have to touch up the bangs. Now, I just kind of have to look at it for a while and make sure that it's even, which it currently is not. Little tiny, tiny little chunks at a time. <sighs> okay, I think, I think we're about good. That didn't take that long at all. Anybody who ever says cutting your own bangs is hard? No, it's not. The first time, maybe. Really the only part about cutting bangs that's difficult is if you don't have bangs and you have to add and you're like adding bangs to your face. Let me zoom back out. Okay. Really the only part that's like difficult about cutting bangs is if you don't have bangs already and you have to decide like how much hair you want to bring forward and make bangs out of. 
I've had bangs my whole life, so I've never really had to like decide how much bang I want. Um, there was a time when I had way too much and it just looked real weird. <laughs> but now it's just kind of like the hair is already there. I just need to cut it more and there we go. And now to just give it a little bit of zhuzh, a little bit of dry shampoo and and there we go. I always prefer cutting my bangs with a dry cut. I find that it is just easier to see, at least not with like fully wet hair, because I feel like with fully wet hair, you get like a false sense of how long they're going to be because they're going to shrink up. So if you have it just like a little bit damp, it's easier to get an idea of how long they're actually going to be. Um, and after I wash my hair the next time, it'll probably shrink up a little bit more. It'll probably look a little bit different, which I'll then like just fix and touch up. You also don't need fancy scissors. You just need sharp ones. You just need a sharp pair of scissors and a steady pair of hands. And you're all good to go. And you have, what? Francesca gave Harry a blowy? Now just get all the hair off your sweatshirt. And now I'm gonna get all the chunks of hair off my face. I'm gonna go wash them. So yeah, these are a little short, but once I have eyebrows on, they won't look as short and they'll look more like they have a style. So there we go. Bangs cut. <laughs> we'll do a little tour of our plants because we have quite a bit. I believe this one's figured that out this used to live in like a solo cup at my work and then I took it home and this guy you gotta see this this is crazy he's just growing up the vine yes I'm so proud of him I don't know what this plant is I don't know what it is Libby's growing basil quite a bit of basil, which I'm happy with, but she's also growing cilantro, which I hate. Cilantro is the worst. Basil though, look at these cute little leaves. Look at these cute little basil leaves. They're so cute. So cute. This came as a result of us taking a cutting off of one plant that was kind of dying, like a little cutting, and then planting it in this, and then it has just bloomed. If you know exactly what this is called, let me know. Here's the leaves. Good stuff. And then we have this guy who's been doing a good job and having a good time to focus this little guy Libby made um, a little shelf out of a drying rack um, this little guy has been I don't know how well he's doing oh there's more cilantro I don't know how well this guy's doing more cilantro Libby needs to stop growing cilantro and then we have I believe that's a spider plant I'm not sure a little air plant living in there this guy's doing a great job look at that look at all that Look at all that. And then we got more up there. But this guy, this guy is very impressive lately. Look at those. If you're ever wondering what's in my shower, it's a bunch of lush stuff. So many lush things. So many. Hey friends, uh, I just got done from taking a walk. Um, I walked probably like a good 20 blocks and then back. So it was probably like a good two and a half, possibly three miles, I'm not sure. But I took a little walk. Yeah, we're in, uh, we're almost to May. We're almost to May and um, I didn't actually have to trim my bangs after I washed it. I washed them last night and my bangs are looking good, so. Yeah, so if anybody ever wonders what I do with my bangs, it's this. You see what's behind me? Oh, that's just the kitchen. That's just the kitchen, you see? So anytime ever, anybody ever asks me to do cooking videos, it's not the easiest thing in the world because I don't, all my counters are against walls. I don't have an island like Julian Solomita and I can't put like a little hot plate in the middle of my kitchen. Cause that's the middle of my kitchen. <laughs> But, yeah, 
didn't want this vlog to be too long just because I wanted to have the main focus of it be me cutting my bangs since people ask me for it and I figured I'll put it in a vlog because that's a place that makes sense for it. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog today. For song of the day, let's see. Song of the day. Are You Satisfied by Rain Wolf. I haven't listened to that song in a while, but I put it on my playlist of Seattle artists that have made the last 10 years a good time for me. Um, so it's pretty, it's like a heavy bluesy rock song. So definitely check it out if you're a fan of that kind of music. I love Rain Wolf, he's great. Also my merch is still on sale. My merch is still happening. If you guys haven't seen it, this is my merch. T-shirts, tank tops, sweatshirts, phone cases stickers. Okay. Thanks y'all. Bye.